In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can put a map in your WatchKit app. So, as you can see, I have a map object dragged from the object library onto the app, and I have it connected to my uh, logic with an outlet. If we command click into here, we can see all the functions uh, that it has. So, what we can actually do on a map in um, our interface builder is actually pretty slim. We can set sort of all these functions and we can either enable it or disable it, but that's about it. Um, the rest of the sort of configuration of our map we have to do in our coding here. So the first thing you probably want to do is set the area that is displayed by the map. And to do that, we need to use a function that we can find here in our WK interface map file uh, class, sorry. So there's two functions for setting a region. A set visible map, um, I don't know what that word is, but that, what this one does is it uses sort of a more complicated way, as you can see, this goes to here, which is here, which says an origin, which is a map point, which is this, and um, it's basically a more complicated way of setting a region that is displayed, um, basically a more complicated way of setting a region that is displayed, we're not going to worry about it in this video. The second one is the set region variable. Now this one sets a region, if we go in here with our command click, we can set, see, it gets a center, gets a span, and it gets some other things that we don't need to worry about. A center is just a 2D coordinate, longitude, latitude. And a span is just a uh, span, which is in turn some degrees in either direction. So that's what we're going to use just to set the region displayed by our map. We're going to do that in the awake with, awake with content. As you can see, it says configure your interface objects here. So it's the per perfect place to do it. So map outlet dot set region. As you can see, we want a MK coordinate region. So we're going to get enter doesn't want this so I'll just delete this because this gets a bit uh, messy here and I'll just get that last. So here we go, go enter. First thing we want is a location coordinate 2D which of course means you'll first need a location so I'm just going to click enter here, go across, click enter here just to settle that up and I'll settle that so we have all our brackets. So the first things it, it wants is a longitude and a latitude. So you might have a longitude and latitude either from data store, from a web server, or you might just be wanting to display a static map of a location. Um, so to get a longitude and latitude, I'm just gonna use Google Maps in this case. So as you can see, I've clicked on, a, if you click on a location, it gives you this little thing, here's your longitude, here's your latitude. So that's a pretty quick way to get it. So I'm just gonna copy, get our longitude, and put that in here, double click this, this wants to accept a double, which is what we've got. So if we put that in, and then our latitude, again, double click, cross. Again, it wants to accept a double of our latitude right here. And we'll just put that in there. I think it will want another bracket. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so we've got our place. We've got the place that our map is centering on to be displayed. Now we need to set what the map will show around our place. That's what we use the span for. So double click on MK span, open the bracket, we'll go through here, get all those uh, other bra uh, brackets. Okay, so what an MK coordinate span accepts is a latitude delta and a longitude delta. This is basically how far up and down and left and right in degrees you want the map to show. Now of course the degree is a pretty big thing so you're probably going to want to trial and error exactly how much of the map you want to show to get the amount of detail that you need. Um, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to double click on this, go across, put in a one for each of these. So this means we're going to show uh, one degree north-south and east-west of our location on our map. Uh, what is this one? I think it's probably going to want. Does that clean everything up? Okay, yeah. So we've set what our map is going to show. So let's just run our app and have a look at our map. Now our simulator will take a couple of seconds longer to load because it has to load in that map. 
So let's see if this actually works. Okay, so this is taking a while to load in. Uh, there's actually no guarantee that it will load in because this is the simulator. It will work on an actual watch, but given that this is the simulator and I'm using the beta um, SDK, there's no guarantees that it will work. The next, the final thing I want to show you is how to add pins, or they call it annotations, but you can kind of think of this, this is like the pins that you would have seen in um, the Maps app on iOS, or just generally Maps on iOS. So we're just going to add an annotation, Map Outlet, oops, T. Now add annotation. As you can see, you have three different options of ways to add annotations. You can add with an image. So what this will do is this will put an image onto your map from a uh, UI image variable. So you'll need to load your image in from a file or from a server and then display it onto the map. Uh, you can use a image with name. So you just name your image. It gets it from your asset store, displays it on the map. Probably the best way to do it if you're not having to load in dynamic image. Or you can use a pin and you can just define the pin color. For convenience sake, I'm going to use a pin. Go enter. Now, the first thing it wants is a location in a CL uh, location coordinate 2D. Luckily, we already have one of those. I'm just going to copy the one I already have up here. Copy, paste. So there's our location where the pin on the map that we want. The final thing we need to declare is the color of the pin. So you can click that, go right, press enter. As you can see, you have green, purple, or red. You can pick whatever color you like. I'm just going to use red. And when this is called, a pin will be put onto the map, a red pin at this location. Finally, there's one other thing. So if you want to remove all your annotations, you can go map outlet.remove all annotations. Of course, we're putting one on, so we don't want to remove it straight away. Now, I'm going to run my app one more time. Hopefully, the map will load. As you can see, the map's not loading here. Just run it, see what we can get to come up. As, again, as you can see, my app in the simulator is just refusing to load. Uh, you should have more luck if you're using Xcode 7, the stable release or an actual watch. This will work on an actual watch. This does work. I know it works. Um, but that's how you use a map. Hopefully you can actually get it to work. Uh, the next video in this series is on tables, how you can uh, set up your table and how you can handle row clicks on your table. So I hope you watch that.